everyone, and welcome back to my channel! You know, a couple of weeks ago, Delightful made her unicorn doll. And you cannot even imagine how much I loved that project. Really, it's even strange because Catherine, she has lots of amazing dolls on her channel and this rainbow unicorn one isn't probably the most complicated one because she has lots of absolutely mind-blowing dragon dolls. Really, she's a fantastic doll artist. If you suddenly don't know Delightful in her channel, I'm going to list it in the description description box under my video because you're missing a lot. So even though Catherine has lots of amazing dolls, I really fell in love with this rainbow unicorn one. And I thought immediately that I would really love to make my own unicorn doll because you know after all these almost six years on YouTube I've made just one unicorn doll and it was almost, I don't know, two years ago. It was around Christmas. It was a winter unicorn doll. So today I thought we should make another unicorn doll and I have a very special idea for this project because I really want to try to take a horse, like doll horse, and uh, the top of the doll's body and I want to try to combine them together, glue them together, making my own unicorn out of a Monster High doll and a doll horse. I have actually no idea if it's gonna work, maybe it's a very bad idea, but we are going to figure it out very soon because, guys, I have bought a horse. And it wasn't that easy, actually, because, uh, I don't know, these horses, they all have different sizes. Some of them are too big, some of them are too small, some are too wide, some are too tall, but this one seemed to be quite the right size. I'm not going to use this doll, this horse riding doll, because I don't really like these Staffy dolls, but this horse seems to be really nice and we're going to use it. I'm going to use some Monster High doll, I don't know, I'm going to pick up now something from my stock, it doesn't really matter who it's gonna be here on the front. The most important is that we're going to cut this horse's head off. I'm sorry, horse. Yes, this is your destiny for today. And then we're going to turn this horse plus a doll into a unicorn. I really hope it's gonna work, guys. I'm really excited to start working. I'm really excited about this project. Thank you so much, Delightful, for inspiring me to do it. I had this idea already for a while, but I never felt like fully inspired to start this experiment. And today it's finally time. So, let's start working on this project. Of course, guys, like always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos every Friday or every second Friday, depends on the project. This project will for sure take more than one week working. Yeah, and of course, support my art on YouTube with your likes if you think that my art really deserves it. Well, and now let's start working. And actually, the top of our future unicorn, I've decided to use this super special Monster High doll. She's some hippie deer character, I don't even know her name, I've never seen a Monster High doll like this. But her face sculpt with this wider bridge of her nose and with the ears, it all makes her a perfect candidate to become a part of this unicorn project. So, let's now remove her beautiful outfit, accessories, and then we will move on to cutting her hair, removing her hat and all this stuff, preparing the doll for the makeover. Oh, and check out her beautiful deer feet, by the way. Oh my god, this is such a unique and beautiful doll. I don't know, I'm completely in love with her. Check it out, it's so unique. I've never seen a Monster High doll with different kind of feet. Really beautiful. And I've got it from one of you, by the way. Thank you so much for this generous gift, really. This is some amazing doll. And the next steps, you know already very well, you've seen it multiple times in my videos. We're going to cut off her hair, warm up her head and disconnect it from the body. And then we'll remove her face with pure acetone.
I'm going to give this doll extra beautiful hair today. For this I'm going to combine pink hair with golden tinsel. I think it's gonna look really super gorgeous. And first of all I'm going to cover her head with a couple of layers of pink acrylics. And after this we will give her new hair using my rerouting tool. Also, please guys, neglect the rashes on my hands. I'm struggling with atopic eczema all my life. And right now, after a short remission, it's really torturing me again. None of my creams, including the ones with hormones, don't work anymore. And I just, I don't know, I just need to go to the sea at least for a week. Normally my skin heals completely from seawater and sun. So the next week I'm getting my second shot. And then two weeks later, I'm gonna grab the first available tour somewhere just for the sake of my skin, really, because right now I can do absolutely nothing anymore. So I just hope it doesn't bother you too much, it's not contagious and it's not really painful, I got used to it, it's rather itchy and very, very annoying. And check it out, check it out, such a beautiful hair, really not normal, very pretty. Let's now add some glue inside of the head to keep it all in place. And I'm experimenting right now with different kinds of glue because I don't really like how long it takes for tacky glue to dry. So today I'm using textile glue for it, it's quite a popular choice for, of different doll makers, so let's see how it works. So now let's cover her face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then we'll start drawing her face. The main colors of this makeover will be pink and gold plus some white and rainbow accents. I want her to look, I don't know, kind of like a candy in a pretty pink and gold wrap. So her makeup I'm going to keep very pink and natural. Okay, I think I will stop working on her face for now and it's time to start customizing her body and finally the horse also we can start customizing but first of all I want to replace this beautiful body with a unique feet with some regular body that has similar skin tone because I really want to keep the special body for some other like dear doll project or something like this I don't want to waste just this bottom of the doll's body 
So and now I'm going to disconnect the torso of the body from the legs and yeah guys here starts the excitement. So this is it, the body is ready, and now let's finally take a look at the horse. Yeah, here she is, her neck and her head are movable, and I don't know, maybe I should keep this neck joint, and our doll could kind of make a bow in some way. Yeah, let's try, let's try, let's keep it, but first of all we are going to cut the horse's head off. Yes, this is the moment we are all expecting so much. some job really but now it looks really cool and we can try to connect the torso with this with the horse so with the horse body and I think it should be something like this yeah here it should be probably so first I will connect them with the sticky warbler thermoplastic it doesn't really have to be pretty it will be just like a hard carrying construction and then I will cover it all with epoxy sculpt and it will make everything smooth and perfect Okay, this is what I've made, now I will let it dry for 24 hours and then I will sand the doll with nail buffers and then we'll start painting. start actually with blushing her body because its color is slightly different than the face color so I will do my best trying to make them look exactly the same Well, I think the skin color looks pretty much the same everywhere, so now I will protect the top of the body with plastic and then we'll paint the horse part of the unicorn. So first I'm applying a couple of layers of pink paint. And 
then on top of it I had this beautiful golden topper. It gives a very pretty effect and on top of this pink paint it will all look like some super shiny rose gold surface. I think it's gonna be very pretty. And I actually also want to add this golden shiny topper to the top of her body and also to the face. I want my unicorn doll to shine and to glow. And it will also look very pretty on her deeper skin tone. And let's also paint the gloves. I think it's a cute detail in her look. And check it out, yes, it looks so beautiful, really, this is exactly what I wanted. Now let's do some horse foot care and I will cover her hooves with a golden leaf. And this is how it looks, really super pretty, very shiny. So this is where we've got so far with her body. And you know, I don't really like this part of her body, how it looks. It makes her look like, I don't know, like a moose. You remember, I've decided to keep this neck joint, but now I don't really want to use it. I don't want this doll to bow anymore because there is a risk to scratch off the paint. So, you know, I should, I should have removed this movable neck part and glued the torso straight to the body. But it's already too late. But anyway, it's not a tragedy. We're experimenting here. We're trying things out. And our experiments have led me to an idea of making a ruffled rainbow skirt to cover this a little bit less pretty part. So I've bought this unbelievably beautiful ribbon. It's like a pastel rainbow gradient print. Really super pretty. This is 100% unicorn material. So now I want to make a skirt using the same technique like for the galaxy skirt of my moon goddess doll two weeks ago. That skirt was so legendary that I want to make something similar again for my unicorn. And this ribbon also is double as wide compared to the galaxy ribbon and it's also much softer. So I think it will have quite a different effect in the end, even though we're using the same method to make it. And guys, I'm totally in love with this skirt today. It looks so pretty, not normal. Many of you wrote that you could perfectly use the galaxy outfit as your prom dress, as a real prom dress. And this skirt today is also something that I wouldn't mind to have in my actual size, even though I never ever wear rainbow things myself. But yeah, for this skirt I would probably make an exception. So, and this skirt I've decided to pair with the ruffled top. Okay, now our unicorn is all dressed up and looks like a dream. That neck piece has been completely hidden under the rainbow ruffles and the problem seems to be solved. But now I don't really like how much empty space she has left on her back. It looks a little bit like too long and empty here. But this I could actually foresee from the very beginning when I estimated the horse's proportions. And I have a plan that seems absolutely brilliant to me right now, but maybe I'm wrong. We will see it very soon because I'm actually going to place a house on her back. Look, I've bought these molds 
to make some gingerbread house. It's some Christmas thing, I guess. But I thought if I made it out of a foam clay and painted white and pink, it would perfectly look like marshmallow house. Who cares? Gingerbread house, marshmallow house. I don't know, it would be very cool. I think it would turn our unicorn into a candy unicorn. I don't know, maybe just my fantasy going too wild or I'm just in a very good creative mood today. But I really love this idea. And now we're going to start with filling in these forms with foam clay. And it's very important to push it in really nicely. Otherwise there can be gaps and some air bubbles. So let's push this clay into the forms and then I will let it dry. Oh my god guys you cannot imagine it took four full days to dry really so long not normal but now we can finally remove all the parts from the forms trim the edges and then we'll connect all the details together And look at my cute marshmallow house, really super, very cute. Now we still need to make it sit nicely on the doll's back and for this I will cut a little bit the sides of it. So now I think we can apply primer and then we will finally paint it.
Okay, the painting is finished, I think. Now let's add some colorful dry flowers to the windows. Then I cover it all with varnish and the roof of the house I'm going to decorate with these super cute sprinkles. I've also received them by the way from a super nice girl who got one of my dolls. Thank you so much sweetheart for your cute gifts and today it's time for your sprinkles. So now the house is finished and you know I really love the way it looks. I still think it was a very good idea to put a marshmallow house to the back of the horse. It makes our unicorn doll very special, making her really candy unicorn. But anyway, now let's go back to the doll's head and now let's style her hair. Today I want to give her a very curly ponytail on the top of her head. So this is what I'm going to make right now. This is where I've ended up. I was first thinking about placing a bow to her head, but I think now that I would rather prefer a couple of white flowers here. And now we still need to make another very important detail of her look and this is a horn of course, otherwise she would be a center girl, not a unicorn. And I'm starting with making a horn out of warbler thermoplastic. Then I'm going to cover it with a golden leaf and then we'll seal it all with UV resin.
Okay, this is done. Now let's take a sewing pin and this tiny golden decoration and I'm going to connect them together with resin and then I will attach it to the horn. And now we can attach it all to the forehead. And you know what? I still want these decorations around the horn to be bigger and kind of more visible, more shiny. So I'm going to disconnect it all again and I'm going to add a round golden sticker to the middle of the forehead. And then I will put the horn again. Yes, now I really like it. Now it looks really pretty, so now I think we can attach false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And I ask you, by the way, lately what kind of lashes do you prefer? Drawn lashes or falsies? And most of the people reply that it depends on the project. Both can look good on different dolls, and I actually totally agree with this opinion. And this doll today would look better with false lashes, I think, because she's also, I don't know, extra and and there are so many details in her look, so the false lashes would look really good here. And now it's time for the final detail, attaching the tail. And this is gonna be the final dot in our project. And after this, we'll finally see the end result pictures. So, and here is finally my doll horse hybrid, because it was quite a wild experiment and I honestly had no idea if a doll would work out. I was mentally preparing for a failure video, kind of convincing myself that it would be interesting to watch anyway. But surprisingly enough, everything went exactly like I planned and even better. And as a result, we've got a very unique doll. Now, after this project, I just want to buy all horses on the market and cut them into pieces. And by the way, we still have the horse head left. How should we use it? I don't know, make a woman with a horse head? I don't know, write your ideas down in the comments. I will for sure keep the head for some other future hybrids. And this unicorn doll has become probably the most special doll I've ever made. I really love the pink and gold hair. The horn looks also really good and shiny. The marshmallow house is just one love. I'm really happy I made it. And the rainbow skirt, I don't know, I still wanted to have it in a real size. So I really want to thank Delightful one more time for inspiring me. I had a lot of fun working on this project. So if you guys haven't seen her version of Unicorn, please don't forget to check this video. If you haven't seen it yet, you will enjoy it 100%. So, and this doll is now available for sale on eBay, please check out the link in the description box under this video if you feel like this one might be something for you. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you've enjoyed it today, and if so, please, please guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and I will see you ready very soon. In one week or maybe in two weeks, I will let you know. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.